Hello, this is Professor BRB, and today we are going to learn the pen tool, which I believe is the most important tool for drawing in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, if we come up here to our pen uh, tool and hold down the mouse button, I can tear off a suite of pen tools here. And the main pen tool, I can also get to uh, by keyboarding the letter P. And to make a simple zigzag is very easy. I just click, 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 and click. You can see here I have a white fill, which I don't really want, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, change my fill to none. And what I've done here is established points that have kind of elastic halves running between them. And I can move these points around any way I want, and the paths will stretch. But I can only work with corners here. I don't have any curves to work with. So next, we want to learn how to make curve points. I'm going to go back to my pen tool. And I'm going to click where I want to establish my point, and then I'm going to drag in the direction of the curve that I want to make. And it's a good rule to have your handle that you drag out be about a third the length of the curve that you would like to create. So that looks about right. I'm going to click here to establish another point and drag down. Now I have a curve. Going over to my next point, I'm going to click and drag up. And to my next point, I'm going to click and drag down. Going back to my direct selection tool, if I click off, if I click on each one of these curves, the handles will pop up. I'm going to go to my selection tool here. I'm just going to move this so that you can kind of see without the template interfering. Back to my direct selection tool. And when I click on each curve, it activates the handles of that curve. And I can shorten them and shorten the curve. I can lengthen them and lengthen the curve, and I can move them around. And you'll notice that when I move the handle in one direction, that it adjusts the curve uh, on the other side of the handle, of the point. And that's a very, very important thing to understand. It's, it's, it seems a difficult thing when you are first learning, but it ensures a smooth curve and is a lot to do with why vector drawing is so accurate. Next, we're going to learn how to go from a curved line to a straight line. So I'm going to click uh, on my point here and drag in the direction of the curve I want to make. I'm going to click on this point, drag down. And now what I want to do is go to a straight line here. So if I just click over here, I'm going to get a curve, which isn't what I want at all. So Command Z undoes that. So I have to click on my point here, and what that does is it kills one of those handles. So now I only have one handle. If I hold down my Shift key and click over here, I now have created what I wanted, which is a curve going to straight. Next, I'm going to uh, create these scallops. And once again, I click and drag up in the direction that I want my curve to be. I click and drag down to create my curve. And now I need to hold down my Option key. And notice when I do that, that my cursor changes to this little wedge, and that is temporarily accessing the Convert Anchor Point tool. Hold down that Option key, and I click, and I can drag a handle up. And then I release my Option key, and I click and drag my handle down. I go to my Direct Selection tool here and click off. I can see that now I have scalloped curves that I can edit. any way that I want. So if you can make these 
main kinds of corners, corner points, smooth points, and hinged curves, you can draw absolutely anything in Adobe Illustrator. So let's apply what we've just learned to draw, making some simple illustrations in Adobe Illustrator. Um, if you go over here to your artboards, you can choose artboard number two, umbrella mushroom. And down at the bottom here, we have a truck. And we should be able to draw this without too much difficulty using the tools we just learned. So let's go to our pen tool here. And Corner points are easy. I'm just going to click and hold down my shift key to constrain it to vertical or horizontal. And I'm just click, 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 like when I did my zigzags. Click right about here. And now I need to drag a curve out. So I can just click and drag. I can go down here. I can click and drag. I'm just going to click on that point to kill that bottom handle. Back to my shift key. Click, 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 drag. I, I released my shift key there. Go here, click and drag. Now, when I'm going to try to create a symmetrical curve like this, um, it's much better if I can adjust my handles to be of similar length. So I don't have like one really short handle and one really long handle like this. It's best if you can adjust your handles so they have a kind of symmetrical look to them. And then it's much easier to create an even curve. So that looks pretty good to me. Back to my pen tool. Click there. Click here. Now click and drag. And i am got a little better idea what kind of handles I need here. So I can click there. And then I can click there. I'm going to have to go back and edit those a little later. But that's fine. Click, click, my shift key, click. So I'm going to go back to my direct selection tool here and adjust my handles a little bit. Get those cutouts. That's, looks pretty good. So there's my truck. Um, it may be that I didn't get these bottom points completely lined up. But there's a very easy fix for that. If I go to my direct selection tool and um, I just select those points and nothing else, in my object menu, there's a very useful command object path average. And I can just average these points on a horizontal axis and it will straighten them all up nicely and just find the um, average there. So that's quite cool. Um, there's no need for me to use the pen tool to draw these nice round wheels. So I can just go to my ellipse tool here. And holding down my shift and option key, I can draw a circle. If I want to hold down again, uh, hold down my mouse button first and then depress my shift and option key. I can move this over and I can see I didn't actually use my shift key there. This is a little lower. So I'm going to move that over, make sure my option key is down, and release it. I can take my rectangle. And create. Um, my window. So in future lessons, we will um, tackle some of these other shapes uh, that you see here um, and discuss the various techniques you can use with the pen tool to draw them quickly and accurately. These lessons should work in any version of Adobe Illustrator, 
Uh, I personally have been working with Adobe Illustrator since 1988, and the pen tool has endured and remained the same uh, for all this time. So whatever else comes and goes in Illustrator, the pen tool, I believe, will always be central to being a skilled user of Adobe Illustrator.